We out here to bring out the true nationality of so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Give me um, Ezekiel chapter uh, 3. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse, uh, I want to say maybe 6. The book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. Yeah, start at verse 6. Verse 6, not too many people of a strange speech. Uh, go and, up to verse 5. Verse 5, for thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech. He says we are not sent to a people of a strange speech. We are not sent to a people outside of our nationality, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians. Keep going up. And of a hard language. And of a hard language. Come on. But to the house of Israel. But we are sent to the house of Israel. Come on. Not too many people of a strange speech and not, of a hard language. Not to a people of a strange speech or a hard language. Keep going. Whose words whose, thou canst not understand. Whose words we can't understand. Keep going. Surely had I sent thee to them. Surely had we sent them to them. Come on. They would have hearkened unto thee. They would have listened. They would have listened. If we was out here for them, they would have listened. That's why the white man is to easily come up here and listen. That's why the Chinese man will easily come up here and listen to a people that's telling them that they're the greatest nation of people on the planet. But if you tell that to a Negro, you tell that to a Latino, they ain't not going to hearken to that. Because they need somebody of a strange language or a strange speech in order to hear it. Because they can only hear something from their oppressor. Give me a Proverbs 331. That's our problem, man. We thinking we straight, living in the slums, man. Thinking we straight, 30, 40 years old, staying with our parents, man. You're not straight. You're in the worst condition you've been in. You're in the worst condition you done been in in the last hundred years, man. You've been in a recession so long, you don't even know what it is. You don't know what a recession is. You don't know what a Great Depression is. You've been broke your whole life, man. They talking about you straight. You done got you done got desensitized to poverty, man. You done got desensitized to living check to check. Desensitized to this horrorism. Desensitized to raising your kids by yourself, man. That's normal to you. That's how you think you're supposed to be raising kids. Where the parent is, one of the parents is the government and the other parent by they raising them by themselves, man. In the school system. You think that's normal? That's normal to you, man. Go ahead, Art. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 31. Come on. Envy thou not the oppressor. It says, Envy thou not the oppressor. Come on. And choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways. That's written in the book because you were envying your oppressor over 2,000 years ago. That's why it's in the book. That's why he tell you don't shave your beard because you were envying your oppressor back then. And that's why you shave your face now, man, to get a minimum wage job. You can't have a beard on your face. You can't grow dreads. You can't have dreadlocks in your hair. Five years from now, we are gonna be so desensitized about dreadlocks when they tell our kids to cut their dress off, we won't even, we won't say a word about it, man. We won't say a word about it. Give me Psalms 37, huh? Psalms 37, verse 1. The book of Psalms. Chapter 37. And verse 1. 
and it reads, fret not thyself because of evildoers. It says, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Come on. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Nor be envious against the workers of iniquity. Keep going. Read that from the top again. The book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. It says, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Come on. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. And don't be envious against the workers of iniquity. We love fretting ourselves about the things that evildoers are doing, man. We love talking about the Illuminati or Boule or somebody got sacrificed, Kobe got sacrificed in this whole nine. Negroes are the last people to know anything. So if Negroes, if, if Illuminati is rolling off the tongue of a Negro, then it don't even exist no more, man. It don't even exist. We love fighting ghosts. We love fighting everything except the direct one who's opposing us, man. We want to look at everybody but except the true enemy, man. This whole system. The whole system got to be destroyed. Give me Hosea 4 and 6, huh? The whole system got to be destroyed, man. And you can keep playing. We can continue to watch these funerals. Go up and down the road and, until you understand that the Most High is bringing this judgment, man. The Most High is bringing this wrath upon this place, man. Because of its wickedness. This wickedness have, 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 have been seen by the Most High, man. Go ahead and read that out. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. Come on. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It says my people are destroyed for what? For lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge, man. Because you're not learning nothing. You don't know who you are according to these scriptures. You don't know. If you call yourself an African-American or Mexican or Puerto Rican, those are by words and proverbs given to you by your oppressor, man. Naming you. But you've been desensitized, man. That's right. You've been desensitized to the point of just total numbness. You're just totally numb to this oppression. You're totally numb to this wickedness of this place, man. You thinking this place ain't got better. You thinking there's more opportunities for your kids, man. You got adults now working for 725, man. You got these fast food restaurants full of grown people, man. Full of adults, trying to make a living, man. And these people are not paying a livable wage. You shouldn't have to beg for a livable wage. Now we are slaves and can't even have a place. At least the slaves 300 years ago was able to go to a barn or go to a shed and see their family, man. Go ahead and read that off the end from the top. The book of Hosea, chapter four and verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Give me 515. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place. It says he's going to go and return to his place to what? Till they acknowledge their offense. Until they acknowledge their offense. Come on. And seek my face. And do what? And seek my face. A lot of you not seeking the Most High's face, man. A lot of you not seeking his face. You seeking everything except the Lord. You seeking everything except the Lord, man. A lot of you driving up and down the streets right now trying to, trying to, trying to find some hot wings and some, and some dip. It's some chips so you can so you can have some Super Bowl party. Totally desensitized. Totally ignoring the fact that Kaepernick lost lost 90 million dollars trying to liberate you fools, man. And y'all still watching the Super Bowl. You still can't stop watching football. Simple. And you just had Martin Luther King, you just was celebrating Martin Luther King, you celebrating Black History Month. These folks boycotted the bus systems, had dogs sick on them. Kaepernick has told you to stop watching football. Y'all can't even stop watching football, man. You can't even stop watching football. 
You can't even, if, if we just stop buying name brand shoes, we can liberate ourselves. It's easy, man. You just totally indoctrinated by this world. That's why you straighten your hair, man. That's why you feel like you gotta wear Nikes and Kobe's. A lot of you running out here to buy Kobe Bryant shoes, man. Killing you, finna spin up your income tax check to buy the last pair of Kobe Bryant's, man. You being programmed to do that. You being programmed to be non-productive, man. You being programmed to raise fatherless homes, man. Fatherless kids. That ain't what you choosing, you being designed. The so-called Negro is a genetically modified organism. He more GMO than this food that you eat, man. He more GMO than these burgers that you eat. He's totally designed, that's why he changing up all the time, man. Negro now grows up 17, 18, he don't weigh no more than 115 pounds, man. 300 years ago, the, the, the Negro, 17, 18, 200, solid, and could build a house. Now our kids are running around here, man, 18, 19, 25, 30, don't know how to do nothing, man. Don't know how to do nothing, and that's by design, man, because they ain't needed no more. They only needed to be funneled into the prison system, man. And so your schools ain't even teaching no more. That's why you had all these kids. You had the school system, the, the teachers calling out because they not getting paid a livable, a livable wage. They had the Cap County kids out three, four days because the teachers don't want to go to work, man. Because the teachers are having a hard time affording the one bedroom. 30 years ago, 20 years ago, being a teacher gave you a good middle class uh, lifestyle, man. Now you're a teacher and you're living in the same slums, man. You're living in the ghettos that you tried to educate your way out of, man. And that's why we're here to tell you, you ain't gonna be able to educate yourself out of these slums. They say you need $300,000 to retire now. You ain't gonna be able to educate yourself. You ain't gonna be able to work yourself out of these slums, out of this oppression. You gotta come back to dust says the Lord. Because when thus says the Lord, this, all this whole earth belongs to you already, man. Give me 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. The book of 1 Corinthians. But y'all spend y'all time trying to build an empire here, man. When you already got one built for you. From the foundation of this earth. Go ahead and read that out. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2 and verse 9. But as it is written... I has not seen. It says, as it is written, I has not seen. Nor ear heard. Nor ear has heard. Come on. Neither have entered into the hearts of men. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men. Come on. The things that Yahweh has prepared for them that love him. The things that the Most High has prepared for them that love him. Y'all don't love God. You don't love God, man. Give me that in uh, 1 John 2 and 3. You don't love God. You thinking loving God is, is singing, some, singing some hymns and lifting your hands up, man. Loving God is obedience. Keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, man. A lot of you don't even know what those are. You don't even know what the will of the Father is. You can't hug God. You can't blow him no kiss. Your obedience shows that you love God. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 5. Come on. Whoso keepeth his word. It says, whoever keeps his word, what? In him, verily, is the love of God perfected. Verily, give me verse 3. Verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. Hereby we know him. We know that we know him by what? If we keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments, a lot of people gonna say they know God, they love God, and not keeping thus says the Lord, and being whoremongers out here, and defiling their temple, and don't know the will of God, and not having themselves rightly aligned with the Father. You don't know God. Give me uh, John 14, 15. And we not out here to tell you to join no organization. We just trying to give you thus says the Lord, because you living in the end times. 
You living in the end times. That's why he's sending his word out here on these street corners, man. That's why it's light on the corners of Calder Road. That's, That's right. That's why it's lights in the corner in the five points. That's why it's lights on the corner on the West End. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Come on. If ye love me. If you what? If ye love me. If you love the most high God, come on. Keep my commandments. Keep his commandments, man. It's simple, man. It's simple. And it's simple to see that you don't love him. It's simple to love him and it's simple to see those who don't love him, man. Anybody can say they love God. Anybody can put I'm blessed on the license plate, man. Anybody can put a scripture on a license plate, man. Are you living this thing out? Are you willing to go through the wilderness? Are you willing to go through the afflictions and the tribulations? Are you seeking, thus says the Lord? Do you trust in the Lord or do you trust in oppression? Do you trust in free school lunch? Do you trust in food stamps in Section 8? Do you trust in this government? Do you trust in Donald Trump? The scripture says it's a kingdom already built for you from the foundation of this earth, man. It's already been built for you, but y'all trusting in your job. You trusting in that three fire you buying on the corner, man. You trusting in the club. You trusting little, uh, little Uzi Vert, man, and Cardi B. You'd rather listen to these people than rather than listen to thus says the Lord, man. And that's why you doomed. That's why we living in, a, in, a, in, in, in poverty, man. Give me a uh, Proverbs 27, verse 5. That's our problem, too. We play too much, man. You think you're here to play when you were brought here to be a slave. When you was brought here to be at the bottom. When you were brought here to be in poverty, man. A lot of you can't take a $500 hit, man. A lot of you 40 years old don't have, ain't never had a bill in your name. We gotta understand that we're being totally destroyed by this system, man. And you gotta have a reform reformation of the mind. Uh, 27, five. The book of Proverbs, chapter 27 and verse five. Come on. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Open rebuke is better than what? Secret love. It's better than secret love, man. So we gonna openly rebuke. Give me Leviticus 19, 17. We gonna openly rebuke out here, man. We're going to tell you just says the Lord so it can fix you, man, because that's better than that secret love. That's true love. You correcting your brother. You were you bringing reproof to your to your sister, man. You telling that she can't be dressing like no harlot. You can't be selling dope to each other. Keep going. I, I'm in a red, the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Come on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. It says you should not hate your brother in your heart, but what? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, man. And suffer, and not suffer sin upon him. And not suffer sin upon him, man. But we'll let our brother continue in sin. We'll let our brother continue to walk up and down these streets strung out on dope and not say nothing to him, man. We'll continue to let our brother dress up in drag and not say nothing to him. We'll continue to let these sisters try to pretend like they men and dress like studs and not say nothing to them, man. And that's our problem. We don't love our brothers and sisters enough to bring correction to them. But then when they sit inside some prison cell, that's when you want to give them green dots and, 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 and go to JPay and put money on their books and try to show them love when you should have showed them the love, you should have gave them the correction before they got in there, man. What I told you to get Tell me after that. Give me uh, Romans 10, 21. The book of Romans. Funerals going up and down this thing, man. End times, man. Brother just said the funeral home had 12 funerals in one day, man. Twelve funerals in a day, man. The Most High is not playing. You living in end times, man. I just seen a, a video of a preacher preaching and getting and getting and getting struck down by the Most High, man. It says he kill up and he make up a lie. He bringing his wrath. Make sure you rightly align with the Most High when that when that time comes, man. 
And Yahweh shall say, let the dead bury the dead, man. Keep going on that, Ah. The book of Romans, chapter 10. And verse 21. And verse 21. But to Israel he saith, all day long I have stretched forth my hand. It says all day long he stretched forth his hand. Come on. Unto a disobedient. Into a what? Disobedient. Into a disobedient and what? And gang saying people. And gang saying people, man. We are disobedient and gang saying people. Matter of fact, give me Proverbs 5 and 11, man. We're disobedient and gang saying people, man. Until we got a line of cars going behind us, man. The book of Proverbs. We got a police escort in a, in a, in a line of cars behind us, directing us to our, to, our, to, our, to our doom, to that second death. Directing us into judgment, man. I'm going to get rightly aligned with the Most High for that escort is with you, man. The book of Proverbs, chapter 5, and verse 11. And thou mourn at last. And then you mourn at last when you're sitting there in, in that hospital bed, man, when you're lying there. Realizing that you, you should have listened to the most. Realizing that them boys told you to put down the pork, man. Realizing that you should have straight that you shouldn't have been sleeping with all them different women, man. And now you done got that, that disease you can't get rid of. Keep going up. And thou mourn at last. And you mourn at the last. Come on. When thy flesh and thy body are consumed. When your flesh and your body has been consumed. Come on. And say. How have I hated instruction? And you say, how have I hated instruction, man? And my heart despised reproof. And your heart despised reproof. You don't want to have them cars. You don't want to have that line of cars behind you, man. And that, and that police escort, escorting you to your grave, knowing that you refuse correction and that you refuse and that you hate it and you despise instruction, man. You don't want to be that person, man. Hearken to these law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Give me John chapter 4, verse 20. The book of John, chapter 4, and verse 20. Our fathers worship in this mountain. The book of John, chapter 3, and verse 20. For everyone that doeth evil. It says everyone that doeth evil what? Hateth the light. They hate the light, man. And that's why you stumbling and tripping over through life, man. Because you don't have the light. You don't have, thus says the Lord. You don't have the word of God. You following, you following the word of the television. You following the word of, the, of, of that, that deity called social media. Or media. Or television. Or radio. That's who you following, man, and that's why you stumbling in darkness. That's why you're on your third baby mama, man. That's why you're on your second baby daddy. Keep going, up. For everyone that doeth evil, hateth everyone, the light. Everyone who does evil, they hate the light. They don't want to see themselves. They don't want to see the mistakes that they're making, man. They don't want to be corrected. That's why they hearken to them. Give me a, a keep going on that. Neither cometh to the light. Neither will they come to the light. Why? Lest his deeds shall be reproved. Because he don't want his deeds reproved. He don't want his deeds. He don't want to be corrected, man. 